A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 31st March. On the front page you have court frames charges in Muzaffarpur shelter home case. So trial will take place against 21 accused including Rajesh Thakur. This was the Muzaffarpur shelter home case in which young girls in the shelter home were sexually assaulted and uh, you know, killed as such though some of them have been killed. And the whole thing came into the fore when the this Tata Institute of Social Science conducted you know, a study here. On page 8 you have this news, woman starved to death over dowry. So this is a 27 year old mother who, mother of two who weighed only 20 kg at the time of death. Women's panel has begun investigation in this case. This is in Kerala. Kerala Women's Commission has begun an inquiry into this death as such. Below you have Udipi man stabbed to death in Delhi. So this is a man from Udipi. His wife was also attacked. So this was 49 year old engineer who was killed and you know by stabbing by an immigrant in Munich in Germany. The list is PSLV to launch military's eye in the sky. So this will be first electronic intelligence satellite to, which will locate hostile radars. So this is going to be launched by PSLV. So this is MESAT, the country's first satellite for gathering electronic intelligence called ELINT. So this, is, this was in news earlier too. So this is going to be launched now as we had discussed in news earlier that it will be launched in April. So again, this is the news that it will be launched. On page 9, you have poisoned cattle carcass kills 37 vultures. So, you can see the vulture deaths generally have taken place due to such poisoned cattle hides and cattle skins. So, when they cattle body, dead body carcass. So, this you can see is a case which has been registered here. You can see in Guwahati, Assam. Then on international page you have Trump told Kim to ship nuclear weapons to US. So we saw US North Korea talks which took place in Hanoi the second summit as such but this uh, these talks broke down and now it comes to the fore that uh, US President Trump asked North Korean leader in Hanoi to transfer arms and fissile material to US. Ship the, all these nuclear weapons to US and the talks broke. Then on business page you have SAT settles SEBI broker dispute over interest calculation. So this is the securities appellate tribunal which is uh, which is adjudicating on a matter of dispute between SEBI and the brokers. So this is Prepon Yemeni. It had directed it was directed to deposit rupees 10 lakh before 30th April. So the SEBI the way it demanded interest to be paid was different calculation was different from the Broker's, uh, uh, broker's method and now SAT has resolved this. Then this is Iran seeks improved trade ties with India amid sanctions. So US sanctions have been imposed on Iran and now Iran is seeking improved trade relations with India. It suggests expanding banking channels to boost trade. And this is GSP withdrawal by US likely to affect India's plastics exports. So we have already seen how generalized system of preferences program has been has been withdrawn for India by USA. So under GSP program, developing countries are given preferred preference in trade. You know, so that has stopped now. So there will be zero or uh, mi zero or minimum uh, you know duties on imports from developing countries. So, in the list of developing countries for the GSP program for USA, India is no longer included. We are still under the GSP program for Europe. Europe also has its generalized system of preferences program. Then on page 14, you have frequently asked questions at the cruise. So, here first one is, will VVPAT silence those skeptical of EVMs? So, this is regarding how the election commission ensures a temper-proof counting process in the coming uh, Lok Sabha elections. So, it's detailed out here, you can see the process which we have been discussing over the week. So, uh, what is the VVPAT? You should know about it. We have already done in detail. And this is bringing Nirav back. So, this is regarding the extradition 
of the main accused in the Punjab National Bank fraud case, which he is now in UK prison. Fine. And the probe on Trump and its aftermath. This was also in news during the week. So Robert Mueller report has been submitted on the 2016 US presidential elections, whether there was meddling, Russian meddling, and whether US president Donald Trump, the earlier president, who was then the presidential candidate, did his campaign team you know, indulge in any such activity. So he has been given a partial clean check as such, whether he uh, whether he blocked investigation or tried to stop investigation on that matter, there is ambiguity in the report. Then on Sunday, you have science and technology coverage. So here you have IIT Madras converts petroleum waste toluene into useful product. So this uh, is a green oxidant and water instead of organic acids were used to convert toluene into benzoic acid. Is the green way to convert waste which has been discovered by IIT Madras researchers. So, this is important, you can see here. So, petroleum waste product toluene was converted uh, as benzoic acid, which is used as food preservative and medicine for fungal bacterial infections. So, here you can see the entire detail is also provided here. So the conversion process is made environment friendly by using green catalyst and water instead of organic acid or solvents. So, 68 to 96 percent yield of benzoic acid will be there depending on the type of toluene used. You can see. So, it was platinum nanoparticle catalyst uh, which is made stable and agglomeration prevented by binding it with binaphenone. So, this is the entire detail of the process how it was done. But you should know about benzoic acid and how petroleum waste toluene has been converted into this useful product which is a food preservative and medicine for fungal bacterial infections. Then below you have climate change may hit India's wind power. So increased warming in the Indian Ocean and resulting weakening of the Indian summer monsoon may come in the way of India's goal of leading the world's wind power generation. So it will affect the wind power as such. So that is detailed here. The summer winds you know, which are driven by the temperature contrast between Indian subcontinent and Indian Ocean that is affected then wind power generated through it will also be affected and this is camera traps secret li reveal secret lives of rarely studied small cats so this is regarding you know leopard cats uh, which are mostly nocturnal so these are small cat animals so the camera trap study reveals the details of their lives as such. Then on the last page you have ocean heat hits record high. So United Nations says that ocean heat has hit a record high in 2018. So this is the latest state of the climate overview that the World Meteorological Organization has reaffirmed that the last four years have been the hottest on record and you know figures previously announced in provisional drafts of the flagship program are you know, are fine, but the final version of the report highlighted worrying developments in other climate indicators beyond surface temperature. So, ocean temperature is also high, so we have been seeing about this in news too quite often. So, 2018 saw new records for ocean heat content in the upper 700 meters. And this is Apple pl pulls plug on wireless charging mat. So, this is air power. So it was announced in 2017 to charge three Apple devices at a good a charging mat. But then it was fast charging, high voltage charging. So it has proved to be challenging and Apple has recalled this product now. And this is car toilets to cut emissions. So if this, these are toilets which have been built. So bovine urine means the animals urine will be kept aside from solid manure to release, to reduce release of ammonia. So these are cow toilets which are currently being tested on a farm here in Netherlands. So these are the news items. Thank you.